Okay, so I finally saw Star Trek Into Darkness today. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what I thought of it yet because I thought I saw Fast and Furious 6 as well. And if I review that first, I'll be on the first to review it on its first day. I don't even know if it's been released in America. It probably has, but I have a poster up there and it says that it's released on the 23rd. So, But anyway, it's been released in the UK anyway. So it doesn't really matter whether it's been released in America because I've seen it and I'm on the first to review it. I really hope anyway. <laughs> So you can say you heard it from me first, which any reviewer wants that really. I'm going to review it before Jeremy. I hope I'm checked if he's reviewed, but I'm pretty sure he hasn't. I reviewed Iron Man three before him, so you know, I was happy about that. <laughs> so I hope I get to review this movie before him. So um, uh, it's it's like I've enjoyed every Fast and Furious movie of the series, <laughs> but apart from this one, don't really class as a Fast and Furious movie though. It is a Fast and Furious movie, it's part of the you know, it's part of the series, but I wouldn't recommend it to be honest. This being my favourite of the series. So they've they've proven they can go over the top, completely over the top, unrealistic, like stupidness, but it really works. This movie shows us that that works. And Fast and Furious 6 also shows us that that works. And I um that's one of the things that I enjoy most about a Fast and Furious movie. The stupidly over the top, unrealistic action. Uh, and I've enjoyed all of them, apart from this, because this shit. Anyway, so yeah, let's get into the review. Basically, if you've seen Fast and Furious 4, if you haven't, spoiler alert, <laughs> Letty, you know that she dies. Well, she's not dead for some reason. Basically, when her, when she's killed, something completely like what was shown isn't really what in Fast and Furious 4 isn't really what actually happened to her she survives the whole like basically car explosion if you've seen 4 then I haven't ruined anything in 5 and I haven't ruined that she's still alive because if you've seen a trailer which most people have if you haven't seen the trailer you're stupid for watching the movie um, but anyway what's shown in the trailer uh, is that she survives she does obviously because yeah, <laughs> but um, I thought that'd be a kind of stupid idea, keeping her, like bringing her back to life because she's dead. But I think it was good that they brought her back. Um, I liked her character in the other Fast and Furious movies, and you kind of miss her in Fast and Furious Five. Uh, you're kind of thinking, "Where's Letty at, man? I want to see a bit of Letty." Not that that didn't sound weird at all. It kind of did, but y you miss her. If that doesn't sound weird, <laughs> I'd sound weird. <laughs> but um, you'll know what I mean when you see Fast and Furious 6. She's back, and basically, uh, Luke Hobbs, who's played by Dwayne Johnson, you, you'll know that he's hunting Vin Diesel's character, um, Dom and Brian, in uh, Fast and Furious 5. He basically needs their help to. Um, Catch this criminal called um, Owen Shaw. That's it. I don't even know who's played by. He's some English guy. <laughs> um, and they're in London in this one. But they've been like. Scan has completed. Whoops. Warning: <laughs> Reg Clean Pro detected problems that need your attention. Click mm. fix issues to resolve these problems. Mm. Sorry about that. I'm going to ignore that. I think. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, The Rock, or Dwayne Johnson, Hobbs, he needs uh, the help of the Fast and Furious crew, Dom's crew, and he, like, Vin Diesel's obviously reluctant because he's wanted by this guy, um, but he offers full pardons, and he, show, he shows Vin Diesel, or Dom, Dominic Toretto, I'll call him Dom, uh, he shows him a photo of Letty still alive, so obviously you'd want to, you know, you'd want to see her if she dead. Um, she shows her that she's still alive, and so you know, naturally he wants to help now, so he does. And uh, yeah, so we go into this completely over the top, stupidly, like unrealistic action, which is great. I mean, normally it, it wouldn't work, but for a Fast and Furious movie. It's the best thing that happened to the Fast and Furious movie. 
and we sort of don't see all this drag racing rubbish. I mean, there's some scenes of drag racing which you'd expect from any Fast and Furious movie. You get it in this Fast and Furious movie, slightly. The, but from this one, they've taken a completely new direction of more of an action film than a car film, but it is still a car film. And there's some really great cars in Fast and Furious 6. And there is actually spoilers. Yes, there is. I'm not going to go through the spoilers because a lot of people haven't seen it yet. And they're watching my review. I don't want to ruin it for them. And I'd be the guy that ruined Fast and Furious 6 for everyone. That would make me a bad person. Kind of. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to go through those. But there is actually spoilers. And most of the Fast and Furious movies don't have spoilers because you've seen them in the trailer. I mean, we saw, I saw loads of clips for this movie. I was thinking, have I seen this movie already? Like, amount of clips and trailers that have been released. But the, the film is actually a lot different from what we see of... What am I holding this? Okay. This isn't Fast and Furious 6, what am I doing? That's Fast and Furious 6. Sorry, uh, I'm getting confused here. But, I mean, you see a clip with the Iron Man 3. When you see Iron Man 3 in the cinema, you've seen a clip. But there's a lot that we don't see, which I'm really glad at. There's spoilers, and the ending has a really great ending with a really great cameo from someone who I'm not going to ruin, but he's a big action star. You may be able to guess who he is. I'll give you a clue. He's English, and we, we get a great cameo from him at the end of it, and uh, we lose a beloved character from Fast and Furious, but we don't care because we've got this new guy, and it's leading into Fast and Furious 7. There's not many films where I can go, oh, I'm really looking forward to the seventh installment. But I'm looking forward to the seventh installment. I can only really say that with Harry Potter movies or James Bond movies, even though I didn't even see the sixth James Bond. But yeah, let's go for Harry Potter movies. Um, but you can rarely say that you're looking forward to the seventh installment. I'm really looking forward to the seventh installment of Fast and Furious, and I'll definitely be going to see it when it's first released. I've won the first see it on the first review again with Fast and Furious six. Um, so yeah. Uh, go and see this movie, it is worth paying for if you just want fun like unrealistic over the top action where you don't have to think about anything go and see it and if you're a Fast and Furious fan you're gonna absolutely love it and I wouldn't say it's like one of the best movies I've seen like but it is good I'm gonna go ahead and give it four stars and a thumbs up um, so yeah get out see Fast and Furious 6 I'll be posting my review of Star Trek Into Darkness maybe today um, but this review is going on first, so I may post the Star Trek one tomorrow. Um, so yeah, hope you like my review, and um, if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe or comment below. So thanks for watching, goodbye.